All right, we're with Beyond Race Magazine here at the Audible Treat Showcase um, 2010. Go around. I'm Rika Fikes, Kile, and most of the park, and we are Gria. Awesome. Is this your first South by Southwest together? Um, together. Yeah, this is our first South by Southwest. But you know, Kile has done this like last year, and then like the Park Boys did it last year and a couple of years before. Before, so it's my first one. Okay, so this yeah. is like multiple elements coming together for exactly. the first time. Yeah. How did that come about? Man, um, I think <laughs> it's such a crazy story. Just to shorten it up, it was like it was just supposed to be. You know what I mean? Um, I did a show. I was doing a show in Portland, um, opening up for Alice Russell, and I met uh, these guys, these guys, Josh and Derek, and um, we exchanged numbers. And then in the interim, I was doing a song with Don Will on his um, upcoming project, High Fidelity, and the beat was a Kile beat. And so Don kind of, or excuse me. Derek kind of introduced me to uh, Kile, and then it just happened from there. We did this jam session when I was out in the Bay Area, and it was like, yeah, this is this is right. So it was just simultaneously all these things happening that it was supposed to happen. You know? Our creative process has been so different because, you know, we've we've done songs strictly off of a voicemail from Reagan. She's <laughs> called she's called me and left a voicemail, and Josh actually wrote a song from that voicemail that I had sent him, and. Um, you know, Can you explain that a little bit? I mean, what do it's you a, mean? It's a whole process. Like, Reagan is a very uh, voicemail-oriented person. <laughs> so, it's well, true. I have Reagan a collection of voicemails. You know, it's like, it's when the idea is there. Like, what they do speaks to me so much. And when the idea is there, I need to capture it. And I have to capture it by any means necessary. So it's either like a voice memo, a voicemail, like I'll turn on the computer and record something. I'll say something over and over and over and over again, like call myself. It's so many things. So it's like when the idea is there, I have to capture it and I have to like send it out to them because I know what they'll do with it is going to be simply magnificent. And I know they'll get it. Like, I don't even have to tell them anything. Like, they get it. You know what I mean? They just put it together and do their magic, you know?